All right. So then we also have Storm Divers, which is a battle royale game from House Mark Games. You may know as how from may know of House Mark as the developers of Resogun, as well as uh, Nex Machina. They are not doing arcade games anymore. They got out of that game. Now they're jumping into battle royale because who isn't jumping into battle royale? Uh, also, what do you think about? Storm I guess divers? it's a good jumping off point. Ah. <laughs> Storm divers. <laughs> Uh, that's bad. No, no that's, uh, I think it's really cool. Again, I think I think we're hitting like the boiling point for for these games. Like I don't. It seems like every other battle royale minus Fortnite and PUBG, obviously PUBG being the latter, is are starting to fall off. Like at least the players are starting to fall off. So I can't see unless they bring something really cool, which they could, because in the trailer they show people jumping with jetpacks. Right. Have um. Special abilities like uh, invisibility or dash or or, putting down a wall. Yeah, putting down a a wall of to like protect you from bullets or something like that could change the game enough to make it interesting. And then we can't forget that we have Call of Duty and Battlefield Five coming in with their own take on the battle royale. Yeah. Well, I I like so I was reading a little bit about this on Games Gamespot here, and they mentioned that. This game is trying to switch things up a little bit by not only having you have to battle other players in the game, but you're also battling the island itself that you're landing on because they're going to be like you. There was a part at the end of the trailer where they were like there was lightning bolts and shit coming down like that's environmental things that get in your way, you know, kind of like PUBG has a circle of the red red zone or whatever when they start dropping bombs and shit like there's that. But they're taking a step further with having environmental threats in the area. Um that's cool. Yeah. 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 I remember seeing that too. And they're going to be doing a lot of, uh, you know, releases and stuff, kind of like Fortnite, where they're going to be adding new content over time um, and uh, classes, events, things of that nature. Uh, all the trademark high quality visual effects that House Mark has. So that's really exciting. There's already also plans for PVE co op missions, new playable areas, and new player classes. Man. So they're really diving into this game. Yeah. <laughs> diving. <laughs> Damn it. There it is. So, um, yeah, it's coming out in 2019 and, uh, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued. It's got my, it's tickling my fancy. So head on over to the internet for a full podcast episode for our weekly game impressions and top headlines of the week. That, that's one of me of doing an interview. Here's one of all of us. We'll make some yeah, cool stuff things. Brett's also right here. Like this video, subscribe, keep up with all the latest video game news and opinions that you care about right here on The Inner Gamer.